and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. And tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Dream going up against the Connecticut Sun. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. And away we go. Playoffs are here. First round, single elimination, the fifth seed hosting the eighth seed. Brian, you ready for the postseason? Heck yes. This is what we've all been waiting for. Could we see an upset tonight? I think that's the big question about this one. Well, traditionally, you look at the, the history of this uh, format. The five seed, the home team, has done very well in this 5-8 matchup. But in this uh, single elimination setup, all bets are off. Now here is Hayes. Pass to Dietrich. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Griner. Jones outside. Tries from 10. It's rebounded by Atlanta. Here's Dietrich. About one minute played here so far in the first. The 11-footer, Johnson pulls it in. Pass to Thomas, Jones. Now here's Johnson. Hits it from three-point range. Well, did he sag off? And no hesitation on her part to rise up and bury the three. And here is Hayes. Three-pointer. Gets it to go from downtown. Three. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here's Johnson. There's the three. And the sun hit again from deep. You know, some players you give that shot to, but let me be clear. She is not one of them. Terrible job by the defense. Here's Hayes. Doyle. Johnson defending. Here's Doyle. Clock at six. Stolen by Jones. Pass to Johnson. Tipped. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Dream. Dream ball. So both teams changing it up here. Guarded by Charles. Now about three minutes gone here in the first quarter. And the shot goes down. Give an assist Very there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Charles. Pass to Griner to the right side. Shot clock at six. The shot. It's hauled in by Tiffany Hayes. Atlanta trailing here. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Beyond the arc, buries the Tiffany long range Hayes. jumper. And it's all knotted up. Well, as her career has unfolded, Hayes has really improved her long-range game. Out to the left wing. Here's Griner. Elizabeth Williams with the rebound. And they can go two for one. Most importantly, play it smart. Outside Hayes. Work 
there as it goes. Well, when you've been in this league as long as Hayes, a little bump, I mean, it's not going to affect you at all. She's guarded by Hayes. Drains the three-pointer. Now here is Hayes. Five points in the game. Launches it. Drains it from beyond the arc. Three points. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Dream out in front, leading by just two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. And off we go. A close game, now entering the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Dream, what do you guys think? It's been a solid first half for them offensively, really in tune with each other. Yeah, good ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard for sure. Williams with it. She's guarded by Griner. Now Cazorla. Pass to Williams. Shot clock at two. Over Charles. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. So both teams making some changes here. And so here is Connecticut. Trailing by two. Jones. The three, the three-pointer is on target. The lead changes hands once more. There have been no separation between these teams tonight. Yeah, and it's made for one heck of an entertaining game, even when it hasn't been the best basketball. Yeah, at least it's been close. Here's Cazorla from past the arc. Pass to Williams. Clock at four. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He draws so much attention. Williams can find others for easy buckets. Good dish. Thomas outside. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. The shot's good. The dream on offense. Outside, Williams. Pass to Cazorla. Williams. Outside, Williams. Just five on the clock. Thomas with the steal. To the middle. Jones left side. Now here is Charles. And another three for Connecticut. Boy, they have gotten it hot here in the second quarter. It's no wonder they're in front. And this field goal percentage, probably not sustainable. But if they can stay close, they'll run away with this game like a bank robber fleeing the scene. And the dream call time here.
Here's Doyle. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. Pass to Williams. Gazorla. Just three to shoot. Dietrich cans it from downtown. Sweet feed from Cazorla leads to the open look. She's a dream to play with, a pure point. Johnson outside. Now Charles, the three ball, and the sun hit again from deep. And their offense, red hot. They've really turned it on. Yeah, I don't know Two if they can play any better. They're making it look easy offensively. Here's Doyle. Here's Williams. The basket so, drops, and she gets and fouled on the shot. One free throw first coming up for her. Teams first. That's not an easy hoop. Good concentration by Williams uh, to get the, the bucket. A focused player. And this is her first trip to the line tonight. That one misses. Drafted in the top five in the 2015 draft by Connecticut, Elizabeth Williams really struggled as a rookie, but after a change of scenery getting oh. traded to Atlanta, she was the 2016 WNBA Most Improved Player. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And this is her first free throw of the game. Shooting two. And she knocks down the first one. So she hits both. And here's Doyle. And just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And she banks in the layup. She presents a defender with a serious challenge. Uh, pretty much always. Here's Johnson. Here's Peters. Drills the three-pointer. He had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick up the pass and get the assist. Pass to Billings. Johnson pulls it in. The Sun with the lead. To the paint. It's stolen by Elizabeth Williams. Now Doyle. She's got five. Up and in on the layup. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Now here's Johnson. For three. The sun hit again from deep. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. And here's Doyle. She's got seven. And the dream, another three. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Sun ahead, up three. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three.
second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. I mean, you look at Hayes, what a contribution. Her decision making, simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Pass to Dietrich for the tie. And again, Atlanta with the triple. Her performance has been so important to them, as dependable as ever, guys. Now Griner. Jones outside. And here is Johnson. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. There's no excuse for leaving a shooter like her open beyond the arc. None. Here's Hayes. Bucket is good. Tiffany this is Hayes. Hayes at her best, going downhill in full attack mode. Thomas outside. Pass to Johnson. Reiner. Here's Jones. And it's good. Two points. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. Atlanta trailing here. Here's Doyle. She has seven. Outside Hayes. Five on the clock. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. Three for three. That's the way to start the second half. Atlanta foul. Kathleen Doyle. And the dream making a change here. First. first team foul. Into the lineup for Atlanta. And so here is Connecticut. They lead by one. Connects from three-point range. Finding the right pass. You see the experience of January. Outside Hayes. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Pass to Hayes. Six to shoot. good as Tiffany five others Hayes. before it were he's now shooting six for seven they're just killing them in the paint you can say that again i mean the defenders aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low they're just killing them in the paint thank you fires from deep and the sun hit again from deep good work by january creating for her team she works hard to facilitate from the one spot A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Buries it from three-point range. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Now here's Jones. January. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. They double-team Brittany Griner. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. That's a jump ball. And Connecticut has possession. Here's the three. And it's Courtney Williams with the rebound. Not only is the game neck and neck, but the rebounding battle is too. Very tight game on the boards. Yeah, both teams have put in a terrific effort down low. Now here is Hayes. 14 points for her. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And here the Sun. Two-point game. She's guarded by Williams. Here's Charles. And again, no good by Connecticut. Now here's Williams. 
Outside Hayes. Back to Williams for the lead. Yes, and a nice assist from Tiffany Hayes. Three points. You have to run at shooters like Williams. Can't let them uh, catch and fire. She'll eat you alive. Pass to Jones. Charles. Here's January. Let's it go from 11. Here's Jones. Green with the rebound. Guarded by Charles. Now Billings. And Jones pulls it down. And she doesn't miss many of those, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. January. Shot to stop the drought. Misses. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. It's the dream, leading by just one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter here on 2K Sports. Sun trailing. Johnson with it. Pass to Peters. For three. Sinks the triple. This has been a terrific contest up to this point. And I'll bet it stays that way. I certainly hope so. It's been a terrific contest, and there's nothing like a good old-fashioned barn burner. Here's Dietrich. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. Thomas, good. Well, that level of toughness should energize Thomas's teammates. She invites contact from opponents. Here's Doyle. Johnson defending. Pass to Park. It's tipped. Out to the wing. Just five to shoot. Shoots. That's the Thomas with the rebound. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Peters. Well-timed pass, and it goes straight to the bucket for the layup. The deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. Yeah, both of these teams are firing on all cylinders right now. I love it. Atlanta calls timeout. Yeah, the coaches, they saw their team giving up a lot of points and wanted uh, to get a break before it got out of hand. And that's a big part of a coach's job, making sure you keep your players in the best position possible at all times. That's a great timeout. Over to the wing. They need this. And the three ball is good. Harry McDonald. Great rise and dime. She changed gears in midair to make that sweet, sweet delivery. Now here's Johnson. Thomas outside. Pass to Griner. 
soft touch off the glass. What a physical presence down low. Griner's not afraid of anyone when she's around the basket. Outside Williams. And here's Dietrich. And again, the dream score. The Sun with the lead. Now Johnson. Griner inside. They double team Brittany Griner. And another three for Connecticut. Good find by Griner. She's so much taller than everybody at 6'9. It allows her really to see the rest of the court. Here's Doyle. She's guarded by Griner. Thomas with the steal. Down low. Back to Johnson. Pass to Peters. Now here's Thomas. Six on the shot clock. Two to Goes up on the stripe and misses it off the right side of the rim. And Atlanta has possession. They trail by six. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Johnson. An easy two points on the layup. You know, that is right where they wanted to get that ball. Now here is Hayes. Defense right on her. Count that as her seventh field goal in 10 tries. She's shooting a nifty 70%. With mental toughness and focus that grows throughout the course of a ball game, Hayes simply is a professional whenever she steps on the court. Well, she's an undersized center, but she more than compensates for it with some serious leaping ability. Pass to Dietrich. Connects! Oh, and that Cuts the lead to just five. What an easy bucket. Thanks in large part to Hayes dialing up the perfect pass. Inside. Reiner's shot is off. And so here's Atlanta to the inside. Here's Hayes. Nails it. What a beautiful shot to bring them within three. So mature mentally and emotionally, Hayes stays composed throughout the game. Inside. Here's Griner. Count it! Using her rare combination of size and skill, Griner scores points when it matters. I love to see that kind of composure in the clutch. And the dream call time here. And that's an intentional foul. Elizabeth Williams. 
second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for your Connecticut son, Dijonne Carrington. Two shots. Good on the first. And that increases their lead to six. So she goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. Atlanta calls timeout. What's your take, guys? I guess they're they're not yet willing to give up, but they have no quit in them. I'll give them that. And you have to respect that, I suppose. Most teams, most coaches would be moving on from this one already. Kazorla. It's good! Kazorla. And now they trail by just four. Pretty good Time from out. beyond the arc. I'd like to see Kazorla shoot more from there. Be a little more assertive offensively with her own shot. And the Sun all time here. what they have to do in order to, to get that ball back. Yeah, to me, that's a good foul. Clock management, crucial at this time of the game. First free throw is good, and that puts them up five. And she hits both free throws. And it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there. And I think he can close the book on this one, guys. Dietrich misses. And now they decide to foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there. But she's probably the last player they want to send to the line. Yeah, but, you know, they didn't have the time to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Yeah, that's a good point. They, they just could not waste any more time. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so she drops them both. 
And it's an eight-point ball game. And Atlanta has possession. Every team needs a player who can deliver in crunch time, and Sims shows she can handle that role. So we get to see the Sun get the win here.